With commercially cultivated grass, you can have the perfect lawn in minutes. It comes in pre-grown sheets, fresh from the turf farm, ready for transplant. First produced in the middle of the last century, commercially grown grass continues to change the domestic landscape, thwarted only by a hosepipe ban. If you haven't got time to sit around watching the grass grow, then with commercially cultivated turf, there's no need. Upon delivery, workers simply unroll it and trim it. It's like laying a carpet, and in fact, it is a living carpet. With regular watering, it will start to put down its own roots. It should take about three weeks to become established, and then it's time to dust down the lawnmower. It starts with a seed variety appropriate for climate. This farm is in the American Midwest, and that calls for a cool season species, Kentucky bluegrass, but it will be green. They compost grass clippings and leftover turf in a large pile and use it to enrich the farm soil. Using an aerator, holes are made in the soil. This loosens it, allowing nutrients and oxygen to infiltrate. Aerating also breaks up the rootstalk left over from the previous crop. And since grass is a perennial, a new crop will grow from these leftovers and they'll only need to plant seed every three or four crops. After only about five weeks, the grass has begun to sprout. A sprinkler system helps spur the growth. It's called a central pivot irrigation system. A wheel tower that is 366 meters long with numerous sprayers that slowly circles the field to give the grass a methodical watering. Next up is the fertilizer. It'll give the grass the energy it needs to flourish. The three main ingredients are nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. But the mix also contains micronutrients like iron, zinc and magnesium for an extra boost. They fertilize the field typically four to five times a year using a supersized version of a domestic rotary spreader. Pulled by a tractor, it scatters fertilizer out of the back to cover a lot of terrain. An application of herbicide keeps the weeds at bay as the grass grows and the blades become denser. Once it's thick enough, it should resist weed itself. They mow it three to four times a week, never cutting more than a third of the total growth. Anything more would cause the grass to focus on repairing top growth at the expense of establishing a robust root system. When an ordinary lawn tractor can't cut the mustard, they bring out a mega version. It has three mower decks, each with three blades, and can mow an area the size of ten football fields in one hour. The clippings are left behind for added fertilizer. It takes about 18 months for the roots to fully develop and form a thick mass. That means the turf grass can now be harvested without falling apart. As the harvester moves forward, rollers at the front compress the grass. Behind the rollers, a wide blade cuts the turf at the roots. At the sides, spatula-like mechanisms lift the turf onto a conveyor. Once there, another blade cuts it into strips. The strips move up to a device that rolls them up, just like you'd roll a sleeping bag. The conveyor transfers the rolls to a platform, where a robotic arm retrieves them and stacks them on a pallet, five at a time. When the stack is big enough, the harvester lowers the pallet. A forklift collects the roll turf for shipment. This turf has been cut to order for same-day delivery. They'll lay it fresh from the farm, so it doesn't have time to dry out and turn yellow. This grass has been a year and a half in the making. It's now ready to transform a bear garden into a lush one. No doubt making the neighbours green with envy.